Welcome to another edition of Politics and Right. My name is Egberto Willis, your host. I'm here with Cheyenne Deshakar with Unified. Sean, how are you doing today, my friend? I'm good. How are you doing? I am doing just fine. I tell you what, I spoke to one of the folks at Unified last year and give us a little update as far as what is Unified, first of all? What is it? What services do you all offer? Yeah, so we're a social network for organizing and activism. Mm -hmm. So we provide a full social media experience mm -hmm. with a full organizing toolkit built in. It allows organizers, we think for the first time, to truly scale organizing action-driven communities. Now, you know, that word scale and all of that sounds good to you, me, and everybody sure, that, yeah. in the technical field. Yeah. What exactly does it mean? So it means that when we're trying to bring about real change, uh -huh. build real movements, the best way to do that is with real communities. Right. The problem is that to build communities that can affect change across our entire country right. is really hard. Community organizers are very good at doing that within their neighborhood, like maybe say up to 100 people right. at most. It gets really hard after that. How can we build the kind of movements that require a million people, 10 million people? That's what we're trying to solve at Unified. And, and how, what's your approach? Is it a, the different types of relational databases, scoring, how do you do that? Um, it's a lot more fundamental than that. It's really using tools to allow folks to build communities easily and quickly and manage those communities. Mm -hmm. So the reason we built a social media platform for doing that mm -hmm. versus some of the other tools you see out there right. is because for better or worse, social media is very good. Right at building communities. We've seen that happen in other areas like entertainment, music, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen it really applied to organizing, which is kind of ironic if you mm -hmm. think about it because that's what organizing is all about. Right. Um, but the other social media tools aren't really designed for the kind of community building that organizers need, that real, that, like actual substantive right. communities. We're building tools into that where they're based on like taking action and actually accomplishing something. Right. And then connecting with the people that are doing that, not just with the leadership, but for the other folks in that community as well, mm -hmm. bridging those gaps so that people feel like they belong with each other. Now, let me ask you this, because right now we have Facebook, we also now have Threads, yeah. we have, uh, we have a, a Instagram and TikTok and all these different platforms. I've been hoping that at some point we can integrate these guys in such a manner that when I'm doing certain things that are more applicable to Facebook, it's done that way, but I can still interact with Twitter, etc. It is your platform, which is yet another type of a social media thing, able to integrate in, in, a, in a seamless fashion so that somebody who is used to, let's say, an Instagram, used to a TikTok, used to a Facebook, can somehow lateral themselves over yeah, what you're doing. Definitely. In fact, that's actually one of the core sort of technical things we're doing that I think is really interesting. A lot of other tools in the organizing space are very within themselves, right? Like you do the thing there, right. only there. Right. What we're doing is the actions that you can embed in your unified posts uh -huh. are just like videos or TikToks you can embed on the web anywhere, mm -hmm. right? So. Just like you know, you can like put a tweet into like an article on a web page. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to take that same unified content, those actions, mm -hmm. and embed that, share it anywhere on the web. Right. So anyone out there could, you could put it on Twitter, right? right. You say, "Here's my unified action." You can put that in your tweet. Someone can see that action, and then if they want to do something further, they can go into Unified and do that. So they'll click on on wherever it is. It brings them to the Unify tool, which yeah. is another uh, cloud application. It's just another social media platform. So again, right. just like you would, you could post a link to a tweet on Facebook, right? Or you can post an Instagram photo on you can, Twitter. You can, do one you can post a unified action anywhere right. you want. And then it goes in, right. and then it jumps on. It's the it's web platform. content, right? It's, right? it's internet content. So just like we share content everywhere, right? The difference here is that this is now an action that's right. content, not just a passive consumption of media. So give me a give me a workflow. I I I, I get onto your. I am a I'm a I'm a single activist, right? Or does it mean for is it start with single activists or is it assuming a bigger bigger? It's thing? both. So if you want to be a single activist in your neighborhood that want to do something, you can jump in there right there and do that. Right. But if you're a big organization, you can have an organizational account and do things in a more structured way too. Okay, so I jump in as a sing uh, as a as an activist. Over here, there's a lot of folks that work yeah. singly. 
So I, I do something and uh, I, I sign up with your, your platform. How do I get started? Just like any other session you have, you just download the app, Unify for Progress. So it's a mobile app? It is a mobile app, yeah. Is it also desktop app? Or Not or? yet. We're right. still early, but it will become one eventually. Okay, so I download the mobile app, I, I fire it up, I log in, etc. And what do I see here? You'll see a social media feed of other organizers and activists doing interesting things. Uh -huh. You can engage with what they're doing, take action on behalf of them. Mm -hmm. Or you can create your own posts, your own actions, and share that with your followers. Okay. So again, just like other platforms where you build an audience and people can engage in your content, you do that here. Mm -hmm. The difference being that when people engage with your content, they're actually taking action to affect change. And now, what specific are these actions that, that, that you can... So today, we have contact representatives as an action. So you can basically petition elected officials. Right. We also have a voter registration action. Um, but in the near future, we'll have things like events, uh, get out the votes, messaging friends with specific topics. We'll have survey and polling. So really, anything that an organizer would want to have done, mm -hmm. there'll be a version of that on Unify that can be shared socially. And are you going to be, let's say, uh, have things like precinct uh, granularity and all those types of... Yeah, in fact, that's actually kind of already there. So when you go into Unify, you can put your address into Unified, and it will tell you who all your reps are, down to, in many cases, the city or uh -huh. that kind of level. Oh, nice. So in closing, give me, give me why, first of all, how can people become members of the Unified platform? And, you know, give me a little closer. Yeah, so we're in alpha right now, so we're testing with select users. The best way to become part of that program and get early access to it is go to our website mm -hmm. at joinunified.us. Right. Just put in your email, we'll reach out to you and get you on the platform. Let's say that again, because I didn't know if you said join Unify or join Unified. Join Unified. Joinunified.com. .us. Joinunified.us. That's right. Yeah. And that's how they get onto the platform. They sign up and they can get running and start. Exactly. Right. Excellent. Well, thank you so thank kindly you. for all talking right, about for having Unified. Me. And I tell you something, right? I think we need all the tools that we can get, but specifically if they're integrated. And your integration sound like something we want to use. Absolutely. I think Unified can be kind of the central community hub for all organizing right. activism. Thank you very much. All right, thanks. All right. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share.